We're going to be in the half guard. And the first thing you guys need to do is make sure the guy doesn't reach towards your head. If the guy gets behind your head, get that clock. Okay. The guy gets behind your head, then you have a problem because you have to get away from this control. All right? So you don't want pressure here. Put pressure. You don't want to be stuck not being able to move your head while the guy is attacking and putting pressure. Okay? okay? So to prevent that, you're going to grab the guy's wrist. The first thing you're going to do is make sure that this guy can't reach to your head. You have to grab the wrist. Now, the one thing you have to know about this thing that we're going to do is that it has a really low percentage of success. It doesn't work well at all, but it sets up for some things that work really, really well that have very high percentages of success. So you're going to be here, okay? I'm going to grab the guy's wrist. And yeah, come in. The other thing you need to know is I want to lock this guy's shoulder, right? This is my goal right now. I want to reach to lock the guy's shoulder. But I'm not going to reach over his head. If I reach here, the guy has an underhook, okay? And then I have the same problem. You know, if I lose his wrist, I'm back in that same spot again, all right? So I'm not going to reach over his head and come back. I'm going to be here with the wrist before he comes in. And I'm going to reach, come in. I'm going to reach in front of his head. So at the block here. So when I come through, I'm going to come through this way, okay? You guys see? All right? But the guy is always, before you even nail this, the guy is always, always going to block his wrist. Throw on your heel. Yeah, this is what's going to happen. And the one thing you want to avoid, and this is why this thing does not work well, is that uh, turn, sit to your butt on your left hip. Yeah, here. See, now I'm starting to get shoulder locked. Step over my back. Okay? You don't want to end up like this. Okay? This is really bad. This is why I don't like the shoulder lock. But I'll show you why I do like the shoulder lock in a minute. Okay? So here. So once we get here, when the guy defends, the way that we're going to lock the shoulder is we're going to watch. I'm going to crank my wrist under. Okay, you guys can see how I'm cranking my wrist under. And I'm going to bring his, his own hand almost into his mouth. So I'm going to pull in, right? When I pull in, I'm going to lean back so it separates his arm. He's going to immediately want to get that thing back underneath again, right? So go back up. Okay? So you've got to do it in one shot. When you, when you pull this thing in, right, I'm making, him, I'm making the guy curl. I'm pulling him in, coming out. And once I separate his arm, watch. I'm going to raise both my legs and turn. This way. Lock your shoulder. When I do this, I'm also, look, I have to curl my wrist again. Okay? Watch, watch his wrist. Curl the wrist. Okay? Curl the wrist. Here. Come in. I come in front because I don't want him controlling my head. Reach over and he's defending. I have to curl my wrist in and bring him in, out and around. Okay? Now look. If I leave my legs open and I do this, he's going to pass my guard. Okay? This is not working out well for me here. I do not want that. Okay? I have to keep my legs here. If you guys lock your legs, that's fine. But if you lock your legs, a lot of times guys lock their legs trying to do this. Slide your knee up over my hip. Okay? This is still just as bad. Go to the other side as well. Okay? This is still just as bad. All right? And it's not horrible, but it's, it's not good. Okay? Look. Arm triangle, right? I'm putting myself in a bad position, so come back. My knees have to be up. I prefer that when I do this lock, okay, I leave my legs open. They're not locked. They're together, and I'm up. So I'm bringing him up. And in the next section, we're gonna sh I'm going to show you why you need to do this, because this is actually going to help you get on top to be able to execute this. So when you guys get here, turn your wrist down, and don't watch. Don't put it to his back, because he'll snake it back in. He'll sneak it in under, under the hip again. You have to separate and turn, okay? When you do this, you really want to look. All right? Go back. Wrist in, over. He defends. Okay? Curl it up and out. Turn your wrist down as you turn. Raise your legs. Okay? Make sure you're turning all the way over. Try and do it in one motion. You guys understand? Questions, anybody? Everybody's good? Okay, grab whoever. Grab anybody. Mix the whole group up. Let's go. Try it out. Sorry, separate the arm. Hand. Look, Paul, oh, his hands too close to his back. Yeah, now go. But look, wait, go, go. lock in this way, not that way. Lock in this way. Towards the bench, towards the bench. Yes, there you go. And the chair is